Welcome again to this series of modeling practice. In this video, I will show how to model this stays vacuum in Blender. Let's get started. Delete everything by pressing A then X to delete. I will start by adding the cylinder and then press F9. Set vertices to 40. Go into edit mode by pressing tab. With all objects selected, press S to scale. To snap along the Z axis, press Shift plus Z. I will go into side view, press Ctrl plus R, and add two loop cuts, one on the bottom and the other on top. I will select the bottom face and scale to add chamfer. Add another loop cut here. Now I will select this edge. You can double click while holding Shift and Alt. I will skip three edges and select another edge. With these edges selected, press Ctrl plus B to add a bevel. Scroll with the middle mouse to add three segments. I will go into wireframe mode, then deselect the bottom face while holding Ctrl. Double click to select these faces while holding Shift and Alt, then press Alt plus E to extrude along normal. Something like this will be enough. Add another loop cut here. Select these faces and then scale out. Now select these edges. After selecting all edges, add a bevel. Three segments will be enough. I will delete these top polygons. Now it's time to clean up the geometry by connecting these edges in order to have good edge flow. I will delete the half side. Select this face. Then use Ctrl plus to grow the selection. Press X to delete the selected face. I will add the mirror modifier and set the axis along the Y. I will continue to clean the geometry by connecting edges and joining them together until I have proper edge flow. I will grab these edges and add a bevel to remove the sharpness of the edge. Two segment will be enough. Also, I will slide these edges by pressing G twice. Now, I will sharpen the edge and add smooth to the object. I use hard ops to add sharpening to the object. Press Q, then click Sharpen. But if you don't have hard ops, in edit mode, you can select the edge and then press N. In the item section, increase the mean bevel weight and crease to 1. Then right click to add smooth. The result will be the same. Add subdivision surface, increase level to 3. I will apply the mirror modifier and disable subdivision surfaces in the viewport to avoid lagging. Press Shift, plus A, then add Empty. Select the object, add an Array modifier. Uncheck the relative offset and increase the count number to 10. Check the object offset. In the object, select Empty. Now you can select Empty and press R to rotate along the Z axis. We can see the edges are still separate, but we can merge them together by enabling the Merge option in the Array modifier. I will continue to rotate the empty to make sure the edges are close enough. Apply the Array modifier. Now we see there is a line here to fix this. Add the Weld modifier to weld the closed edge, then apply it. Now it looks good. I will go into Edit Mode and then select these edges. 
then press G to grab down a little bit. I will extrude the edge. By using the loop tool, I will right click to convert the edge into a circle. You can change the circle's rotation by adjusting the angle. I will continue to play with extruding and scaling the edge to have a shape like this. Now I will select the bottom edge. I will use the loop tool again to convert the edges to a circle. I'll extrude the edge and press S to scale. Extrude again, something like this, and press G to grab along the Z axis. I will extrude the edge once, then press Alt plus F to use grid fill. I will enable simple bending and play with span count. Ten counts look good to me. Select these edges. Then add a bevel. Two segments will be enough. I will select these edges and grab down to adjust the height. Now it's time to modeling the cup. I will select these faces then press Shift plus D to duplicate the face, then press P to separate the selection. I will select the faces and grab them up a little bit. Select these edges and extrude to something like this, then press S to scale. I will continue to play with extrude and scale to have the shape like this. Here I will use grid fill again and play around with the span to have a clean topology. I will continue to add a support loop and a bevel to remove the sharpness of the edges. Now enable the subdivision surface in the viewport to see how the model looks. It looks pretty nice, but I see the normal of the cup are not correct. You can check it out by enabling face orientation here to fix this. Go into edit mode, Press A to select all the objects, then press Shift plus N to recalculate normal outside. I think the model now looks good. That is it for these modeling practices. I hope you have enjoyed it and learned something. If you do, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time.